Freaks on Friday. Freaks on Friday. Al Gibbs on FM 104. Eric Prids, Liberate. Hope your Friday night is finding you well. Al Gibbs here. Extended mix tonight until midnight. And don't forget, coming up just after 10 o'clock, we have a very special exclusive mix from the one and only Mark Knight. He's going to be uh, giving us a 60-minute mix just after 10 bells here on FM 104. And he is on the phone. I'm interrupting his Friday night off. How you doing, Mark? I'm very well, mate. How are you? Good, good. So uh, just uh, in from Sweden last night, yeah? Same from Sweden, yeah, still no sleep. Uh, on the first one, back with a little and all day, yes. Yeah, so uh, feeling it a little bit now, but um, <laughs> a quiet night ahead of uh, tomorrow night's carnage. Yeah, I hear you. Well, exactly the same for me. Uh, okay, so the last time I think we spoke to you was, uh, I think before Christmas or around that time. Um, you've done Miami since then. Uh, how was that for you? Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah, really good. Um, every year, I mean, it just gets better and better, and obviously the explosion of the scene in America is just, just making the whole thing enormous and uh, we did two great shows we did a pool party um, on Friday I think and then we yep. did an after hours thing of space yeah both really good mate it, it hurts Miami you always <laughs> come home in a little bit of pain but good pain okay and t- like is it, is it are you still doing is business done over there nowadays or is it is it really just um, just an excuse to have a party so is there any business aspect to it anymore I mean, if you can organise meetings, then yeah, but I've got to be honest, yeah, this year, it was really at the point where, yeah, I mean, no one was giving you any music. I mean, you used to walk down Collins Avenue and you'd just be inundated with people giving you records and demos. All that's gone. It has just become about putting on a really good event. I mean, that sort of shifted to IMS, to ADE, I mean, uh, and there's a conference now in Vegas, so... Yeah, the kind of business aspect of it has shifted away, but it's all about going there, doing a statement show and um, catching up with everyone, really. So it still has a relevance and it's still an opportunity um, to, to break music. There's still a lot of press ar- uh, attention around it internationally, yeah. more so than the actual, uh, the actual event itself. So I think it's still a focal point in the calendar and it's um, you know something as a record label we always uh, bear in mind and we... Um, we used to see records, especially the one you're playing in the background right now. Yeah, yeah we, we'll get to that there in one second because I, I love the name. It has some personal um, relevance for me, but I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, okay, so Ibiza is coming up. Obviously, it's uh, it's it's coming at us like a like a mist, and uh, I suppose Tool Room are going to be uh, doing all sorts of things at Ibiza. Can you tell us anything about it thus far? I would love to tell you we are going to make our big announcement on Tuesday. Okay. Um, super excited about this year. Yeah, it's really come together nicely. Okay, we'll, um, we'll say no more oh, on yeah, it. Watch your space. Yeah, okay. no, look, if you follow me on Twitter or check my website on Tour Room's website, all the info is coming on Tuesday. Okay. Now, the new tune, which I absolutely love, it reminds me, it's, um, I suppose, it has a, has a weird sort of 90s vibe to it, I think. Uh, the Return of Wolfie, uh, which is the name of my brother's dog who got run over last year when I told him the name of the song. Oh, he was dead. It was devastated. What does it mean, the return of Wolfie? Uh, I don't know, really. It was just a, a bit of a working title. I just like the idea of it. I mean, obviously inspired by the film, you know, The Wolf of Wall Street. I yep. mean, it, it struck a bit of a chord with me, that one. And, okay. uh, I don't know. It was a working title, and it just stuck, and I think it... I don't know. It, 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 everyone kind of can have their own interpretation of what it's about, you know, which is quite cool, as opposed to slapping it with a big cliche name. It, yeah. Kind of provokes a bit of thought, so I, you know, I like it. We st- it's stuck. Okay, it's brilliant, brilliant tune. We're going to play it now in a sec, uh, or we're going to get into it now in a second. So tomorrow night is uh, Savoy in Cork. I'm going to be down there, which I can't wait for it. You've played there before. Uh, what was the last gig there like? Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, I, you know, every time I come to Ireland, it does not disappoint. I, I don't know, you know, we really, I think we both have a great mutual relationship, and myself and you know all the guys out there. It's, yep. um, it's a very special occasion. I mean, I really look forward to it. I was back over a couple of weeks previous, and that was absolutely insane. And I'm sure tomorrow night's going to be much of the same. Okay, well, listen, Mark, I won't uh, take too much more of your time. I'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for coming on tonight. We've got a, a special mix going out just after ten o'clock. Your sixty minute mix, mix. So thanks for that. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, we look forward to it. Cheers, mate. Okay, bro. Enjoy your night off. Cheers, man. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. FM